Hi, this is Emily. I am going to show you guys how to do a quick, um, clean, pretty decent straight out of the camera. Um, this little girl was photographed using the 85 millimeter um, lens, the 85 millimeter 1.4 on my um, D700 body. Um, I should leave it as open as possible, then we can get the blur in the background, as you can see, all around right here. Um, keeps everything soft and keeps her face nice and crisp. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna start with is her skin. Now, she doesn't need much um, help with her skin because she does have some, she has pretty skin. Um, to do the skin, um, but little do you know, I now use portraiture. Um, I found it not too long ago and it simplifies my life. It makes it easier, it's a lot faster. Best investment ever. Um, I have already run portraiture, um, and the reason I have done that is because I teach the Hello Baby Newborn workshop with Erin from L Photography, and we do teach our portraiture settings. We have custom settings in there um, specifically for skin tones, um, and it wouldn't be fair to the people attending the class for me to give um, away that information. So thank you for understanding. Um, but that layer right here, this is the portraiture layer. So I've already run portraiture. Let me show you um, what it looks like with it on. A little bit softer. Off, on. It does soften the background, which I love because um, I love soft backgrounds. So I have added a layer mask before I ran portraiture because we need to take it off of her eyes and her mouth and any area that you want to stay um, with the detail that it needs to have. So let's go ahead and add a layer mask. It's down here at the little box with the white circle. I'm gonna click on this white box right here just to make sure it's activated and not the actual photo itself. Come over here and switch this to black. Click on your brush. Make sure your brush is at 100% opacity. And it's it's a super soft brush, which is, it'll turn everything to red, which I've just clicked on my screen. So let's just put this over her eyes right here and her mouth. It's getting rid of the portraiture on her eyes and her mouth and it's not doing anything because it's at 1%. It needs to be at 100%. Let's try this again. Okay. There we go. Take it off her eyes and her mouth and I want to take it off her nose, the line on her face. Um, I'm going to pull the opacity down to about 50% ish and kind of take it off here because I want all this to kind of stay in focus. I don't want it to be too soft. Um, and there you go. There's it off. There's it on. Super subtle. I'm going to go up to my history panel up here on the top right. I'm going to take a picture so that way I can go back to that layer if I need to. You can see the snapshot. I do that all the time because I like to go back and fix things sometimes. Okay, let's flatten this layer. Okay, it's flat. Now the first thing that I need to do is I want to make this photo pop a little bit out from the background. Um, and to do that I use Florabella Sharp and Defog Action, which I've used since the beginning of time. I have my old trusty um, action here. So we're going to run this. My computer's a little slow today. It's backing up. Okay. Let's add a layer mask down here. There's the white. Now we have the black over here. We're going to take our brush and we are going to paint off her skin. We don't want that skin to be too sharp. So remember, if we were to switch this to black, which is command I, invert, that means we paint it on. We don't want to paint it on, so we're going to put it back. We're going to paint it off. We want it everywhere except for her skin. So I'm going to take the brush. I'm going to get it at 100% opacity. I'm going to go ahead and view it at actual pixels. There's a whole bunch of shortcuts. I just I'm not using them because you guys can't see them on the computer. So it's easier for me to show you exactly where to go. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off of her skin. You can see right through here, there's a little bit of skin blemishes, and I can show you how to take that off. I'll do that in just one second, now that we have her nice and big. Um, so I wanted to see where that was. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Those are areas that I don't want sharp. Um, and there we go. I'm gonna pull this down to about 38%. That looks great. Let's get this on the screen. Come back up here, fit on the screen. Let me just zoom out another layer because for some reason fit on screen is never 100% clear. And I'm not sure why. Okay, so sharpen defog, we're good. Let's take a picture. History. Take the picture. Layer. Let's flatten our image. 
time to make the back pop. In order to make the back pop, we can use just a simple vibrant saturation um, tool. So let's go down here, all the way at the bottom, click on the little black and white circle, go down to It already comes with its own layer, so we're gonna be able to mask it off and do what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up these sliders just watching the background. Um, don't pay attention, let's just pull these up to see where we're gonna want it. I'm gonna pull the vibrance up to about 23. And whoa, we don't want that bright. Whoa, that's the saturation. We will take it up to about, mm, let's do 18, sounds like a good number. So go ahead and click on this white box right here. Now we're gonna flip it to black because we wanna paint on to the black. White paints on, black takes off. So Command I, you can flip it. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint on. So come over here. This is what we need this to be white because we want the white to paint onto the black. So grab your brush. I'm gonna do it at 100% of that. I'm gonna do it at maybe 60% opacity just because we can always add more. Let's go ahead and paint this on where we want the vibrance and the saturation to come on to the photo. Okay. Let's come down here a little bit. Okay, let's see how this is looking. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, Let's just click it on and off. My mouse is about to die. I'm going to click some more. Okay, there's it off. And there's it on. Off. On. Okay, I'm going to add more. I think that's going to be pretty good. What do you think? I think that's good. Off, on. Actually, I may pull that saturation down a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit off of her hair. Um, I don't want all that on her hair. Um, we want to keep that a little bit more natural. Even though her hair is really pretty when you make it a little bit brighter. I'll just take a little bit of that off. I switched that to black, and I'm erasing now. Okay, let's take a picture, history, take a picture, layer, flatten my image. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want to pop the background a little bit more. Um, we can darken the shadows a little bit and we can brighten the highlights. So in order to darken the shadows, let's go ahead and make another layer, Command J, that makes another layer. Um, or you can come down here and you can do add layer um, over here as well. Okay, we, won't, we don't need to do that though. Okay, let's go ahead and get the burn tool. So the burn tool is this little magnifying glass. Come over here to burn. Go to the top, you see shadows. Um, leave it at shadows and we'll do exposure at about 8%. That's plenty. So let's just click on the shadowed areas of your photo. It brings out some of those darker areas just to kind of pop some things out. Um, this is another thing I've been doing since I started photography. It's one of those first basic things that you kind of learn how to do pull some of those pops out. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to dodge. Dodging is brightening. So when you brighten, you go to the highlights, and the highlights are the white portions or the bright portions or your photo. You can also brighten some of the mid-tones as well, and I can show you how to do that. Um, so I'm just kind of clicking on the highlights of the photo. Let's click on mid-tones just for fun. You can brighten some of those middle tones up. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's take it off and on. Just pops it a little bit. Okay, let's take a picture. We're gonna flatten this image, layer, flatten. Um, I have some brushes that I have up here. Um, just the saturate brush, you can kind of create brushes. We just we already did the saturation. Um, and you can create these brushes um, super, super easy if you Google how to create those brushes. It just kind of, it's a shortcut, but I wanted to show you all how to do it the long way. Um, now I think what we can do is we can maybe brighten her eyes a little bit and sharpen her eyes a little bit. So I'm going to add a layer, do Command J, and to brighten eyes, I always use the dodge tool. Um, and all we want to do is dodge the highlights, so dodge the catch lights of her eyes. Um, you only want to dodge what's already bright. You don't want to add um, anything bright into your eyes or she'll look like an alien. And we don't want to do that. Okay, actual pixels because it's easier to do this way. I'm bring my brush is at, let's put it to highlights. 
dodgy. We have an extra layer, just in case. The exposure is at about 6%. Let's go ahead and brighten some of these little spots up on our eye. Um, another trick you can do, um, which I like to do, it's one of my secret tricks, is if you go in here to burn, to the shadows, you can give her a little bit of mascara. Look at that. Darken the eye just a touch. Tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Off and on. Love it. Okay. So we're going to take a picture. Flatten it. Uh, we already sharpened, defogged her eyes, and we can sharpen them a tiny bit more. Um, I've got a sharpen tool up here that I created. Again, you can um, Google how to do that. Make a sharpen brush. So we're going to go ahead and play that. And we're going to put this to about, hmm, let's do about 10% opacity. We're just going to do a quick brushing movement across her eye. Loop, loop, plenty. Um, let's take a picture. Flatten. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of this dry skin below her lips. And what I do for that is I use the patch tool or the healing brush. Let's make a, another layer, Command J. I'm going to go ahead over here. There's a little patch. I'm going to go ahead and use the patch tool. Um, the healing brush can kind of be tricky sometimes. Um, it works great, but for this one we're going to use the patch tool. So what I'm going to do, you need to make sure at the very top it's source, not destination, to so leave it to source, because what you're going to do is you're going to take your source and move it to your destination. So we're going to circle this area right here. We'll move it over here. Voila, it's gone. It, re it replaced it with what was over here. It kind of blends it together. The clone tool kind of does the same thing, but that does exactly what you move it to. Um, we want to blend the two areas. It's just a little bit more natural. Um, so that's why I'm doing the patch tool. All right, here we go. All right, let's see on and off. That's pretty good. Let's take a picture. You can also get rid of some of the red on her face, but for the sake of this being an easy tutorial, we're just going to um, stick with this for now. And let's put on the screen. Zoom out. Okay, let's see before and after so far. There's where we started. Here's where we're at. It's just brighter and it pops more. Um, it's sharper. Here it is again before and after. Now I need to save for the web and how I do that is I run an unsharp mask. Um, it's good for saving for the web and it's good for print. So I'm going to go ahead and make another layer. Command J. Let's go to filter. Go down to sharpen. Unsharp mask. And I typically leave it, I leave my threshold pretty high, closer to around 20. Um, that just softens up the, um, the sharpening of the photo. Um, I leave it around 70% and the radius is how large the sharpening little pixels are. Without getting too complicated, I'm just going to say leave it around this. It's pretty good. So you can click OK. It's just soft, subtle sharpening. And I did this extra layer because if you want to, and you don't have to, um, you can paint it off of her skin um, just to keep her skin super soft. I love, love, love soft photos. Um, just being sharp where you want them. Maybe take some off of her hair. I like it being soft. Um, and we can flatten this image. And there you have it. Clean, easy edit. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can email me at emilylucarsphotography at gmail.com. Or feel free to um, comment on this post on my Facebook page. I'm always there. Um, and I can help you out. I'm sure I will be talking to all of you very soon. All right, thanks. Bye.